In a meeting that was meant to discuss budget policy by the National Security and Administration Committee of the National Assembly involving security agencies in the country, Interior and the Coordination Principal Secretary Karanja Kibicho was put to task to explain about the whereabouts of the 35-year-old American citizen, Mahmoud Bashir Mohammed, who disappeared under mysterious circumstances. Confirming whether or not the said Bashir is in the custody of those uh, units or not. And if so, the time and place where he was apprehended, the location where he could be held, and the reasons why he is in custody. If you allow, Chair, uh, we will uh, ask that uh, I hear the letter is copied to us that uh, you make it available to us. While we are in this sitting, we will ask the relevant people to respond to that letter. Because we are on record, we need to respond point by point. Uh, committee members led by the chairperson Peter Mwadi are concerned how, why, and who might have been involved in the disappearance of Mohammed Bashir. When crime takes place, and a crime of a nature that is being described, it's only fair that uh, uh, proper investigations are carried out. Uh, we minimize on uh, conclusions and speculations and allow uh, investigations to be concluded. Bashir was last seen at Miele Lounge at Lavington, Nairobi, last Thursday. Uh, the family of Bashir, led by his father-in-law, Dr. Rashid, is having sleepless nights on the whereabouts of their son who had interest in construction projects and has been working on different government projects in Kiambu and Nyeri counties. Uh, the latest project Bashir was pursuing was the Huru market in Kisumu County. You wonder what will happen to this country if everybody will stay crying in beds for this long period. I couldn't expect. The people in the security should not just uh, tell us something that because we are not better than Somalia. Because of injustice, they destroyed their country. We are not better than Ethiopia because of the injustice. Bashir was in the camera of some yet to be disclosed person at 5 p.m. before his car, a Range Rover with the registration number KCQ007P, was captured by the CCTV cameras, leaving the premises an hour later. No, no, his main business currently was in America and here in Kenya, where he had come in as a developer. He had just uh, started this new niche in, uh, in, in, in construction. In the CCTV footage, Bashir is seen tipping some of the guards at the gate. That was the last time he was seen. Police are also probing how Bashir's vehicle Range Rover was found burnt in Kibiko three days after his disappearance and the shell cut it away in less than an hour after a police officer from Kibiko police station visited the scene and went back to alert the scene of crime officers only to find the place wiped clean. Reporting for Ebro TV, I'm Jeff Haimba.